Hey guys, the Prime here. Welcome back to another video. And today we're reviewing the the Spangler Retrieval Lawn from Hasbro. Where to begin? Well, I guess we can start with the box. Take a look at the box. It looks pretty really well designed box. box. It's very similar to the uh, the Tree Wand from 2013, the one I reviewed last year ago. Now we got got the picture showing the Proton Stream there. There, and we got the name of it. Take a look. Take a look at the design of it. It's supposed to represent of uh, one of those uh, toolbox or one of those military boxes you can see. The, instead of the uh, the crate from my collected use, but this time it's now full on the uh, uh, toolbox. Take a look. So you get a danger logo. You know, and on top of here is the Ghostbuster logo. On the side here is the same. The bottom part is nothing much. And on the back, back you get a cool picture of it. Right, and now, of course, we need to move, move this. Move this out, and of course, on the front of the box, it looks something like this. It's pretty cool, I to say so. It's pretty cool, I have to say. Hey, uh, it's very similar to my, uh, the, the Ghostbusters crate version, the one I reviewed last year ago on my Halloween video. And of course, right here is the name the Tree Wand. Now we got the company Hasbro right there. You guys can't, can't, can't tell, it's all about there. There, right there. And, uh, that's pretty much it now. Let's see what the true one, shall we? Once you get this out of the bo box, this is, uh, this is what it looks like. Now, this is the same one from the Ghostbusters Athlot. Now, uh, it's a very cool replica, and of course, it is very heavy, I have to admit. I love the design. It looks pretty great. Wait, we got the nice, uh, handle right there. Here, now, uh, we got this little cool little tape there, you know, holding the grip. Now, this is like a gigantic version to my Family Buster Guy set. You guys remember that one? Go check it out. Now, it's pretty, very well designed, if I have to say. We got the front onto of the gun right here. We got the vent, the little dial, right? The little dial right here. The orange, uh, the orange light right there. On the back, you get the hook, and of course, the, uh, the hook for the belt, because this is supposed to be We'll see hooking on your belt. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Well, now we'll get the, uh, the green tube there. And we got the uh, red tube here. And yeah, it's pretty not bad of a replica because it's very similar to my Mag Collector one I reviewed last year ago. Now, here is the turn. Oh, so of course, you need two double blades for here because the last time you put the batteries on the he here. here. Now, if you guys rem remember uh, in my last video, there was a magnet right here in my other one, but now it's a hook on here. Here, yeah, because I put that magnet on there for my proton pack. But I'm going to uh, put the uh, hook back on the gun. Now, anyway, back to review. Now, of course, you need uh, two AA batteries for here. Here, because the last one, when you have the batteries, bottom, the bottom rate of usually the batteries were here this time. And now, they hit good. Oh, I'm sorry, two, uh, oh, I'm sorry, three AA batteries. Here, the clip. Now we'll put that thing back in here. here. We'll get to this part here in a minute. I'll show you the back. Please, I'll show you the accessories please, later. Now, here's the thing. Here's the turn on. on. First, you hit this switch here. Here, that's a nice, cool boot up. No. This top here. Here, you get the lights up here. Of course, once you use the dial here, here, the, the light goes was on, but of course it also make make vibration noise too. I'm not sure you can hear. Here it looks pretty good. All right, now it's time to turn on the gun. Now, once you get all those two switches on, hit this switch right here. Here. It's pretty cool, huh? But of course, I'll show you the here. I'll turn this thing off and I'll show you guys right here. That's the noise we all love. That's the sound we all know and love. But, and of course, now the vent here is now a whitish yellow, just like my last one. Well, the last one is full uh, white. Right now, of course, right here the barrel. So you have to hit the green one 
you have to, you have to hit this green lever right here. Now this time, you have to pull it back. Right here, I'll just keep this. They also make cool sound effects. Here. That is pretty cool, I have to say. Hey, it's pretty nice. Now, of course, you get to the firing. Now, this is the, now this is the sound we all know and love from the movie. These, and of course, the video game. And speaking of the Ghostbusters video game, now this thing comes with more just one sound. It can also create the other three versions from the Ghostbusters of video game. If you hit this orange button right here, it changes the settings. You get the flying function. That is a very cool thing because on my last my last one, it gets to have the regular proton stream. The next one is the spacer stream. You hear that? The ice crackling effect. It also works with the slime blower. Where you get that ocean look to it. But once you fire it, you hear it? You fire the face thing. Still like that icy, cool feeling. Then, of course, you hit the button again. You get this face stream. <laughs> so I got trigger happy. Now, of course, uh, when you turn that back to regular uh, proton stream, now this also can still work. Where the barrel is down. See that? You see that, guys? Now, of course, it's a bummer. Uh, this, uh, well, this, it does work like this. But I'm a little bummed because that's the safety feature. There. I mean, it's still good. I'm, I dig it out. Now, that, that's some cool light designs. But of course, there's one more sound effect. If you hold the button long enough, it actually makes an overheat sound here. Let's give it a minute. So it actually it turned off by itself. That is a pretty cool thing. All right, now uh, we just turn the thing back on. Hold on. Well, here. Let me show you. That turn us on. First, the switch here. This one. Now the final touch. That's a pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> here. That's a pretty cool thing. Thing, but of course, uh, that barrel can still be down when you still fire it. But for, for, for like this. All right, now the now we deactivate everything. Now, of course, uh, if you guys remember my last my last trigger one. Now you actually can use this to push a barrel down. But however, for this one, you have to do it manually, like by hand. I mean, now to turn it off, turn the switch down first, then this one, then this one. I read up the design, but of course before I'll show you accessories. Let me show you how fast this thing goes. Turn everything back on. Once you use this uh, dial right here, that creates intensify how much you have. Of course, you get faster vibration. That's awesome. That's pretty credible. All right, I'm gonna load the intensity down. Alright, now we're done with the screen wand, let's look at the accessories. Now, of course, it does come with uh, the stand. It's pretty good. Put it stand nicely on here. Here. Oh, what the heck? There we go. It stands perfectly on there. That's pretty awesome. I really love the design. These are standing. I mean, it does look a little flat. But I don't care about that. That looks pretty good. It's nice. We got the cool ghost logo right there. You guys can't even tell. It is a ghost logo. You guys can't even tell. Then, of course, it comes with... Hold on. It comes with this. Now, I'm sure you guys may know what the heck this thing is. Well, believe it or not, if you guys remember my, my uh, Tree One video and my Halloween video, I mentioned you can actually put a proton pack on Tree One. Same in this one too, but this time I had a connector instead of a hole. Oh, now you get a switch of Rudy. Hey, here. Now normally we are gonna get a proton back, but however, but we are getting a proton back next year. Of course, that's pretty cool. 
useful. Just stay tuned for that in a future video. You know, it is pretty cool, I have to say, but of course, of course, I'm not sure how you can plug it in, but I did saw some pictures you could actually plug it in you know, on the tree. Well, there's batteries in there, judging by the picture I saw. So well, that is pretty cool. Alright, so that's basically it for this video. Now it's time for the outro. Alright guys, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave comments down below. Leave a like this video and subscribe. I'm the Prime Guy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Prime Guy, I'm back. Where have you been? I've been out seeing you since last December. Well, I'm too busy getting you a Christmas gift. Here, I'm sure. Dude, Christmas was last month ago. Well, here is your Christmas gift. Now I'm off to do some science. Well, see you in February.